All right. I'm going to go ahead and get started, keep everybody on time. Uh, welcome. I am Jamie Romano Hilligus with PMA. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're really excited you're going to be part of Fresh Summit with us this year. And I'm looking forward to showing you some, some information and a little demo of the platform and how it works and answering any questions you have. Um, if you do have questions throughout, you can ask those, put them right into the Q&A section. Um, the chat portion is disabled, so you can't talk in there, but you'll be able to put all your questions right in Q&A, and I will respond to all of those um, as we're going through. So with that, I will get started. So first time at this year, as we look to, to go virtual and online, we really got a lot of feedback and really wanted to focus on uh, three core themes that came up from, from a lot of the feedback we heard, and that was around connections, content, and community. And I think we all really look to Fresh Summit as really at the core for connections and finding new things. So that's really what you're gonna hear a lot about, about how to get the most out of connections throughout the event. So this year, the system has, uh, it's an AI-based system. So simple, smart matching. It's going to uh, recommend people, products, services, and content to you and you to them, all based on your interests. Um, so really look to throw away so that you don't just have to go online and try to look and search for things, but that things also come to you so that you can learn about things you might not have even known existed or that you wouldn't have gone looking for. And there's a variety of ways to search and, and connect with people. So you'll be able to go to an attendee list, which at the top will provide you recommendations with individuals that you might want to connect with based on things you put on the registration form or things you're searching for in the system. Uh, you'll also be able to search by somebody's specific name or their company or their reason for attending um, or communities of interest as well. And that was something that we asked on the reg form so that you could um, meet with like-minded people around similar areas of interest. Um, you will also be able to send messages, connection or meeting requests to individuals that you wanna connect with. And um, a connection request is a lot like asking somebody to be your friend or, you know, in Facebook or one of those other sites. Um, no one can communicate with you or call you or set up meetings with you or anything until you're connected. And everybody has the ability to decline a connection if they so choose. So if somebody sends you a request, you'll be able to review it and say yes or no, um, and vice versa when you send to them. Um, on the spot video calls are also something you can do. So once you're already connected with somebody, if you just wanted to have a face to face conversation with them right then versus waiting for a specific meeting time, um, you could do that right within the system. Um, all the video calls are in the platform itself and uh, you don't have to go externally to Zoom or anything like that. You can send messages or you can request a specific meeting time with exhibitors right on their marketplace page. Um, also, when you're checking exhibitors out and you're on their page, you could scroll down and you can see individual team members. So if you want to connect directly with a specific person, you can do that. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities and ways to connect in the platform. Um, one thing I wanted to note is that no one will see your email address or your phone number or anything like that. Those are not visible on the attendee list unless you connect with somebody so that you're giving permission for them to see that. So didn't want you to think that, that that's available for everybody to just see off the cuff. It's not. So as soon as you get in, um, one of the main things, you know, we know you're coming to do is to see all the, the innovations and the products and services uh, that companies are bringing forward. And there's gonna be a variety of ways to do that. Um, as I mentioned, we really tried, we tried to look and see how we could make this a really intuitive experience. We didn't feel like we could pick up the in-person expo and just put it online and that it would translate the same. So we tried to think more about how do people shop or look for things online. And so we created different ways for you to either find products or services or come across them, uh, you know, Maybe you don't just read and click on things. Some of them could be videos. So there's a lot of different ways. Um, on the marketplace, uh, in the marketplace itself, which is basically you know, the expo, the online expo, you'll be able to search for companies by name, by products, by all the typical filters that you're used to. You can still search and see who's part of a pavilion or who's a first time exhibitor. So you'll be able to, to come across companies in a lot of different ways and then click right into their page to learn more about them. 
Um, you can bookmark exhibiting companies. So if you see something that's kind of cool, but you get distracted because we all know you're working, you're not just sitting doing Fresh Summit all day long. We get that. Um, you can just bookmark a company so that you can come back to it later or just so you save it because you remember it was one you were interested in. Um, there's also going to be pitch sessions. So I, I talked about different ways to come across stuff. Over this week during buyer preview, you have the opportunity to attend short little sessions and it's it's basically not live, it's pre-recorded. It is short demos from some exhibiting companies and it's a way for you to get a snapshot of a number of companies in a short period of time. So if you don't wanna just go click through a lot of listings and you're trying to get a feel for what's out there, um, the pitch sessions are a really good way to do that. Again, you can take 20 minutes of your time or 30 minutes of your time, watch the session. Right from there, you can see the companies that were in it. So if you see somebody you like, you can just click the little bookmark button right next to their company name as you're watching so that you can go back to them. So I really recommend you take a look at those when you're in this week. Um, they will uh, play tomorrow. So you can add them right to your schedule to make sure you check them out, but they'll be available to watch on demand after tomorrow as well. Um, we'll have the Fresh Idea Showcase, which we're all accustomed to from the in-person show. That is where you can go to find products and services that have been launched within this past year. Um, so you'll be able to go look there. You'll see categories to look under like you're accustomed to. And for just like for companies where you could bookmark a company if you were interested in it, as you look through products in the Fresh Idea Showcase, there's a little wish list and you can add things, tag them for your wish list again. Another way to say, hey, here's something that might be cool that I either want to talk to other people on my team about or go right to the exhibitor to talk more about. Um, and additionally, there is a section called exhibitor highlights that you'll see in the system. And this is a great place to like go find a lot in, of highlights of things that exhibitors are showing in different categories. So if you want to see everybody that's doing a tour or a demo who, or who is offering to send product samples, that's one of the categories. Um, there's one on data and trends and merchandising. So I suggest you go check that out because that's another great way to find things based on care categories. Um, also, there are sponsored product demos happening and they are right in the schedule itself. So you'll be able to add those right to your, your calendar so that you can make sure you check those out. So there's a lot of different ways to discover all the products and services of the show. Um, I mentioned communities before, um, uh, you know, this is an opportunity to really get together with people and network um, and talk about things where you have a, an area of interest that's similar. So each morning of the show, when we get to show days of October 13th through the 15th, there each day starts off with this join, um, this plan, reflect and connect session. And that's a way to just, again, it'll be based on those communities of interest. You can talk to people in smaller groups. You can kind of plan out your day. So that's a really good way to start the day and network and, and learn about new things. Um, you can search the schedule and the attendee list by those communities of interest. And we'll also have um, community chat rooms over the show days where you can just have chat discussions with people in those areas. Um, and, and always networking receptions to meet new people. So there's a lot of different ways to connect with the community throughout the event. Additionally, we have um, education and networking sessions. And I say flexible schedule um, in here because we really tried to be conscious of your schedules and aware that it's not realistic that people can sit in front of the computer and dedicate their whole day for three straight days to Fresh Summit. Um, you know, that's part of why we spread things out over the longer period. So you could really work it into your schedule and maximize your time and be able to see and do as much as possible. Um, so on our event days, the 13th through the 15th, there's about a two and a half hour time block in the mornings where there's that plan, reflect and connect session. There's general sessions. We have like concurrent breakout sessions. So that's just a two, two and a half hour period time each morning. Um, so, you know, again, you can pop in, you'll have the ability to network during those. Uh, there's like a type chat for everybody. So you can see all the attendees that are there and chat. Um, and we have our, our state of the industry. Kathy Burns will be doing that. Uh, will be one of the general sessions. We have uh, retail merchant awards that are going to be announced at the uh, networking reception that's on the night of the 14th. And also we have companies like uh, Mastronardi doing their uh, Sunset Rocks uh, party that they always do in person. They're doing a virtual one and it all benefits Brighter Bites. 
Um, and they'll have a, a big name uh, artist. We haven't heard that yet. That will be a surprise. But uh, I, I really suggest you take a look at the, the ed education and networking and see where you and your team members could really get a lot out of con connecting with people and, and learning. All right, so I want to jump in a little bit and talk about how you can really just get in and get started. Uh, this morning we sent out an email um, and you also might have gotten one not only just from us, but from the system uh, itself, from the platform that will let you log in. Um, if you have any trouble or you didn't receive that, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can email member services at PMA.com so that we can make sure we get you right into the system. Also, think about downloading the mobile app, which is available now. You can do everything um, that you do in the, in the desktop in the mobile app itself. So that means like if you're out and about doing other things and you had a meeting scheduled, you can do the meeting from the mobile app. You can attend a session from the mobile app. So um, I recommend you really download that. You can get all the notifications if somebody's sending you messages or anything like that. It's a great way to make sure you stay connected, but don't feel like you're like glued to your desk. Um, so that again is available now for download. All right, I am going to do a, a walkthrough of the demo of the platform itself. So if you just give me one second here, we will switch to that. Okay. So once you log into the system, this is what your home page will look like. Um, one of the first things you'll want to think about doing is uh, updating your profile, which you're going to see right over on the left. You'll see your name and a little edit button to update your profile. Uh, before we go in there, just a little bit about the navigation. The system's pretty user friendly. It's pretty easy to just see where to go. You can see right across the top. It tells you here's the schedule, attendees, the marketplace. Um, so you can see really easily all these across the top. Additionally, you can get to pages, those same pages through these buttons in the middle. There's some other ones. There's a help desk right here. So if you ever have questions or don't know what to do, you can go right there and get help at any time. Also, if you scroll down the page, you'll see that um, our, our upper level sponsors are all right on the page itself and you can click right on their logo to get to their marketplace page. So this is a quick, easy way to, to see um, our gold level sponsors and our exhibitors and above and be able to directly go to their page. Also, you'll see these little icons right at the top. These are the same ones you'll see in the mobile app as well, and it's a quick way to chat with people. You can see notifications and you can see your contacts. So again, pretty easy navigation, fairly self-explanatory as far as what's where. So back on your profile, when you go in, you wanna click edit right there and you wanna upload your picture. You can add a bio, social media, Again, you can see contact details in here right now because um, you're logged in as an admin or rather I am, but typically won't, people won't be able to see that information unless you choose to connect with them so that they can see it. So I suggest making sure you go in and update your profile as soon as you get a chance and you're in there. Um, additionally, if you go to the My Event tab at the top, which this has a lot of features on it that you'll, you'll see as we go through, um, but right under here under my meetings, this is where you'll see any meetings that you've scheduled, but this is also a spot where you will be able to update your meeting availability. Um, you'll see this list comes up that shows you can make specific times unavailable. You could make the whole day unavailable and just add back in what you want. Um, so you'll want to go in there pretty soon too, because once Others can get into the system, all attendees, which is October 7th, is when they can all get in and all start initiating meeting or, or um, connection requests. You'll want this meeting schedule to be up to date based on what your availability is. Um, again, if somebody sends you a request, you still get to look at it, look at the time. You can accept or decline or suggest a different time if it doesn't work. Uh, but that'll just set you, level set you with, with availability right from the get-go. All right, we're gonna come back to this tab in just a minute. I wanna show you a couple of other things. Um, right here on the attendee tab, this is where you can go to see everybody that's part of the show. Um, right now it's missing, but there's usually gonna be a header right here at the top that says people you should meet. So if you notice these first couple uh, names are not in alphabetical order, that's because it's sorted to the top, the people I should meet based on what I put in the reg form or where I'm clicking around. 
So when you go in, you'll see that people I should meet with recommendations, and then you'll be able to see the rest of the list all in alphabetical order. Um, you can search by company type, you can search by the reasons they're attending, their areas of interest that I mentioned. So you have a lot of different ways to find companies. Um, once you're connected with somebody, so over on the right there were people I was already connected with, you can see right in here, you can chat with them. These are the meeting times I mentioned, so you can see them here to pick a meeting and schedule an appointment with them. Also right over here on the right, you'll see this scoring piece. This is something you might want to think about uh, for yourself or with your team. This is a cool way to kind of keep track of all the connections you're making. So you can give them a score based on if you think they're a good fit for you or not. You can add notes or tag them and you can export all of that um, right into an Excel document that you can use for follow up or connections. So this is kind of like a quick, easy way to stay on top of the connections you're making in the system. Um, again, right here, I, I said you can chat. There's the ability to open this and you could call somebody, do the video call, which again, it's right in the platform, like I mentioned. So that's all right from connections that you have. Right at the top, this little people icon will show you those connections again. It's another quick way to get to those that you have connected with already. And you see the home button. It'll always just take you back here to, to find all your, your um, links again. So that's how you want to meet individually with people. Here is the marketplace. So this is the main way to search by exhibiting companies. Um, like I mentioned, you can search by a number of things. So right here, you'll see marketplace. This is what started last year at the show. If you're just looking for companies that are floral or produce or solutions or complimentary items, this is your way to just sort the list and hone in on those that you have an interest in or you're looking for right now. Um, you can find pavilions. So some of the, the Georgia and fresh from Florida, some of Italy, the ones you're used to seeing on the floor, you'll be able to see through here. You can find first time exhibitors. Uh, you can look by country, import and export locations, a lot of information. A um, couple new fields you might not have seen in the past is whether they offer delivered pricing or FOB pricing. Again, we were just looking for ways to make it easier for you to find companies that, that would meet the needs that you're looking for. Once you click on an exhibiting company, you can see right on their page that you'll be able to learn more about them through um, information at the top. Some people have this static. Sometimes you'll see a video on someone's page. You can again, like I said, schedule appointments, learn more about them. You can see them on social media. You'll find if they did any of those exhibitor highlights I mentioned, or if they have a fresh idea showcase, you'll be able to find it right from their page. If they're speakers or sponsors in any sessions, those will show on their page. Any other collateral or information they wanna show is here. And you can also connect directly with a team member. At the bottom, you'll see names of any team members where you can open their profile and connect with them. Or right here on the right, you see there's the ability to chat and that's just a general chat, chat with somebody at the company. So you can pretty much, you can meet with somebody uh, in general, set up the appointment, you can chat with them, you can directly with an individual team member. There's a lot of different ways to easily connect right from the marketplace page. Here we'll look at the Fresh Ideas Showcase. So Fresh Ideas Showcase, here you'll see across the top or your different areas of, uh, to look. So you can look at food waste innovations as an example. Here's one in there. So you can look by the categories or look by all. If you open a listing, you can learn more about them, see any photos they put, and you can also get right to their page from there. You can add them like uh, to your wish list to bookmark them. Uh, you'll see that right here. So a lot of different ways also right from the Fresh Ideas Showcase to be able to learn about new products and connect directly with that company. If we go to Exhibitor Highlights, you will see same similar kind of setup. One thing you don't see on here, um, and, and that's really just because we just started this login today. So the more you start doing, you'll start seeing recommendations. So on these two pages, the Fresh Ideas Showcase and the Highlights, right across the top here, once you start clicking around and doing stuff, it's going to start to give you recommendations of other products you might want to check out. And that'll just kind of help direct you to things you weren't even thinking about. 
Um, also, once you're on pages, you might see a box show up here on the left here with additional recommendations of different things to check out. So that'll happen when you're on the Fresh Ideas Showcase page, it'll happen on the Exhibitor Highlights page, and it'll happen on different Marketplace pages. Again, the more you do in the system, the more it starts to learn about you, and it'll recommend additional things for you to do. Let's go to the schedule page. So on the schedule page, like I said, I mentioned that there are um, sessions, the pitch sessions that are coming up tomorrow. Um, if you open a pitch session, you'll be able to see if there's any other attendees that signed up. When the session happens, it'll be right at the top of the screen right here. Um, you can go in right now and click register and it'll add it to your agenda. And you can see here, I, I mentioned on the other pages for attendees and, and products and services, you get recommendations. You'll get that on the schedule page too. So here's some other ones it's telling me I might like to check out. So you can also sort sessions by um, who they're available to or based on specific topics. Uh, so you can really build your whole plan by just kind of checking out it's by day. One thing to note is that um, it will adjust the time zone throughout the whole platform. So whether you're doing a meeting or you're in the schedules, it will automatically adjust the time zone to your local time zone. So you don't need to try to coordinate or figure out if it's this time here, what time is it with me? It's automatically adjusting for everybody so that you don't have to think about that. So that's kind of nice. Once you've built all of these things, so once you've added sessions to your schedule or bookmarked companies or added things to your wish list or connections, all of that, this is that my event tab I showed you in the beginning. You'll be able to come here and you can see all that, your schedule, meetings, all of it, connections. Right down here, once you start to do stuff, there'll be a button here that you can export all of that and save it right to your personal calendar. So there are notifications in the system that you're gonna receive. And I recommend that you go into the top here in the settings section. And there is a spot where you can make sure you're getting your email notifications, but you can just export it right to your personal calendar. So then it's just part of what you're used to looking at and part of your regular day so that you don't miss anything. So that is um, uh, kind of an overview. There are a couple things that will be coming uh, that you don't see yet, like the community chat rooms I mentioned will be an additional tab um, that you can, you can again have conversations with people in, in co communities of similar interest. So you will see a little bit additional coming uh, on October 7th when the, the platform opens for all attendees to preview. I am gonna switch back now to our presentation. Okay. So now what I just kind of wanna lay out for you and we're gonna share these slides after as kind of a resource for you to use, but it's a lot of information, I understand. So trying to just break it up and give you a feel of what you might wanna focus on based on periods of time. So buyer preview week is right now. Um, it's through this Thursday the 1st. And during this period, um, there is no suppliers in the system that can initiate contact with you. So only you can initiate contact, connection requests, meeting requests, all of that. Um, so this is your kind of opportunity to really just look around in the system, get meetings set up with exhibitors. Um, those would all start October 7th and could be from the 7th through November 13th because the platform will be open throughout that whole time. Um, we really heard some feedback from a lot of you in, in our retail task force or from our Fresh Summit committee members about wanting to be able to have flexibility about when the meetings take place and that maybe even one of them after Fresh Summit so that you could focus on, you know, during Fresh Summit, looking at all the companies and participating in, in education and networking. So you'll have a lot of time to do that. But again, this is your period of time where you're in kind of on your own. It's just like if you were, you know, walking the show floor and there were no exhibitors in the booths. Um, so I really recommend you take this week to really check out a lot in the marketplace, attend those pitch sessions, make sure they're on your schedule, uh, send messages and connection and meeting requests to exhibitors so that you, you can have a good feel of what your, your time looks like and what you have on your schedule. And after the first for produce and floral buyers, then from October 2nd through 6th will be all our solutions marketplace buyers that will be in for their buyer preview period. Okay, so after buyer preview through October 12th, because remember Fresh Summit starts on the 13th, 
you'll be able to use that time to continue building out your schedule. Again, as I mentioned on the 7th, that's when other attendees will be in the platform. So you can start connecting with more people. You can start doing meetings already. Um, be sure during uh, this period after buyer preview and before the 7th, you update that meeting availability that I mentioned. So if you don't get to it this week during buyer preview, I would just make sure you do it by the 7th before everybody's in. Um, and again, also, I would make sure before then you want to export your meetings and your agenda to your personal calendar so you won't miss out on anything. And that settings uh, menu up on the right is where, again, you can make sure you're getting your notifications. Okay, uh, we just did look at this. So this is just another reminder kind of, of, of what we looked at about going to that my event um, tab to be able to export your, your schedule, your meetings, and also that scoring that I mentioned. Um, so really think about that and talk with your team about whether you want to use that feature because it could be a really nice, easy way to capture all the connections you're making. Then we will get to Fresh Summit. So Fresh Summit's 13th through the 15th. Um, if you've already built your whole schedule and it's all already in your calendar, you'll know exactly when throughout the day that you're going to be popping into live sessions or schedule going to meetings or networking events. Um, there'll be a lot of live product demos going on during that period. So I really recommend you check out that uh, exhibitor highlights uh, tab to see what demos are going on and that you've added the featured product demos that were on the schedule to your agenda already. So you'll know which ones you're going to be attending. Um, those chat room discussions will open and you're just really going to have a lot of opportunity to network with the networking receptions and, and other events. But again, we don't expect that you don't have your regular jobs that you need to do. So you're really going to be able to work that just into your day um, so that you can take advantage of as much of it as possible and the live things during the event itself. But after the, the event is over, after the 15th, you have access through November 13th, as I mentioned. Um, so if there were sessions you missed that you want to watch, those will be available on demand. You can keep connecting with companies and, and going to any of the meetings that you schedule that run through that period of time. Um, and as I mentioned, if you, if you use the, the tracking, and even if you don't use the tracking and you just want to see who are the individuals that I connected with, you can export just the contact names. Um, if you are, um, if you're one of the, one of the tips here is if you're on social media, we suggest you use that hashtag fresh summit, communicate about what you're hoping to find or learn about. I think exhibitors are really eager to know, you know, what buyers are looking for or want. And I think that's a great way to put it out there, what you're looking for so that when you go in, you're going to hopefully see some of that, um, as the exhibitors communicate their content and their value on their marketplace pages. So that's an opportunity to kind of share what you're looking for. Okay, so that was a lot of information, but intent was to, again, give you an overview of the platform um, and, and help you focus from a timing perspective on what you wanna do during what periods of time. Uh, as I mentioned, we will share this, this PowerPoint and, um, and a recording so that if your team members couldn't come, they can, they can check it out, but that you'll have that timeline too that, to help you really focus in on what's important. This week during buyer preview versus you know, next week and show week. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and open up if uh, people had some questions. So you can add those in the Q&A. Amy, the only question that we have right now from two, two of the, our, our attendees is uh, when will schedule and attendees actually appear on the top header? So this is buyer preview week. So if you are a buyer, a produce or floral buyer, um, those are uh, available for you to see now. If you are a different uh, reason for attending, so if you are an exhibitor, um, those will be available to everybody on October 7th when access opens for all attendees. But right now, buyers can already see all of that. All right. Is there any other questions anybody has right now? Um, there's no additional questions in the uh, Q&A chat, but if anybody would like to drop a question in there, please feel free. Okay. Um, also, I mentioned that we're going to have some resources to share. Um, and again, we'll send these out. 
We, um, we do have a video that's an overview of the platform. And um, so that'll be a great easy way for you to kind of see it all in action, kind of like I just showed you. And you'll be able to see short snippets if there's specific things you're trying to figure out how to do. Um, we have an attendee quick start guide, and that is a step-by-step -step kind of instructions with screenshots. It'll show you how to log in and how to update your profile and, and check out the marketplace and a lot of the things we talked about today. So that's a great resource as well. Um, also, when we were in the, in the platform itself, I, I mentioned there's the help desk. So that's available as a resource. So a lot of different ways for you to find answers to questions, but you can always reach out to us. Uh, member services at PMA.com is our general, our general box. Uh, you know, don't hesitate to ask questions because I know this is new and it's different. Um, we are, again, like I said, excited because we're getting a lot of great feedback about how it's pretty intuitive to figure out how to find things. Uh, but we definitely don't want people spending a lot of time trying to figure out anything. So don't hesitate to reach out to us. All right. Well, if no one has any other questions, um, we will close things out and um, I will get this information out to you as soon as possible, either later today or first thing tomorrow. Um, again, I just thank you so much for being part of the show. We're really excited. We're excited for everybody to get the chance to connect with each other. We, we know and we hear that, you know, there hasn't been much in person at all this year and you still have a need to find new solutions and, and innovative ideas and products and services. So we think Fresh Summit is gonna be a great opportunity for you to find that. We have a lot of uh, exhibiting companies that are really showing up with some, some creative and, and great ways to showcase their products and services. So we're excited for you to connect with them and we hope you'll really take advantage of this opportunity to meet with people and learn about new things and, and connect and networking and all of that. So uh, with that, if there are no questions, we will close things out. All right. Well, thank you all very much and look forward to seeing you in the coming weeks in the platform at Fresh Summit. Thank you.